Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town and in today's video I'll be showing you how we can find each of the 21 wild animals that are in this game so you can take their pictures and complete your museum collection. Alright so let's just start right away with the animals that are available in all 4 seasons. So let's get the obvious one out of the way first, so these are the sparrows, you'll see them pretty much every morning, unless there is a storm, they will be right here in front of your house, and that's pretty much it. Alright, so next we have the eagle, so you'll find the eagle on the beach in area 2 of your farm, and it only appears in the morning, so it goes away at 12. The only little thing that I've noticed with the eagle is that it's really not there every day, sometimes you'll go 2, 3, 4 days without seeing it, so just keep an eye on your beach every day and eventually you'll see it. Next we have the falcon, so similarly this one will be on the beach, however this one is in area 3 of your farm. It's also only there in the morning, and I find that this one is there a lot more often than the eagle, so almost every day you're gonna be able to find the falcon, and if you don't see him on the beach, sometimes he'll spawn in the water, so keep an eye on the water as well. Alright, so next we have the giant pill millipede right in front of the gold mine, so it's gonna spawn around the gold ores, so make sure you don't put paths or anything on the ground, otherwise you will prevent from spawning. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the giant pill millipede. Alright, so next we have the owl, and this one will spawn in area 2 and 3 of your farm, and I find that this one is sometimes quite hard to find as it is really small and it gets scared very easily. So if you go out on your farm at night, make sure you listen to the sound, and when it's nearby you should be able to hear quite well. Alright, so this next one is one of the most difficult ones, and it is the bluebird, and it appears in the area where the hydroculture plant was, or is, if you haven't moved it already, however, I do recommend moving it, uh, because it only spawns when there are lots of trees, so what I did, I moved the building, I planted lots of trees, and now he's there almost every day, but if there's no trees, your chance of seeing him are gonna be very, very slim. Alright, so next we have the monkeys, and once you know how to get them to appear, it's just super easy. You just need to have tree stumps in your third area of your farm. So when you cut trees, just leave some stumps around, and if you have two or three, I guarantee the next day you're gonna see a bunch of monkeys playing around. And as you can see, they're just super cute, probably one of the cutest animals in this game. Alright, so next we're gonna talk about animals that appear only in spring, summer, fall, so these ones are not there in winter starting with the squirrel, so you'll see the squirrel in area 1 of your farm, and usually it will spawn around trees. So just make sure you have some trees left. Next we have the bear, so the bear will appear near beehives. You don't even have to use the beehives as long as you have beehives there. Uh, the more you have, the higher chance you'll get to see a bear, but yeah, they're quite easy to spawn. Alright, so next we have the fox, and this one will not spawn on your farm, you'll have to go in the forest of Olive Town near the shrine. And you should be able to see the fox pretty much all day on sunny days. And yeah, it's as simple as that. And just make sure you don't get too close because it gets scared quite easily as well. Next we have the brown ermine. So this one will be there pretty much all day as well. And it spawns in area 3 near trees. So as you can see in this area, I just have fruit trees. So they don't have to be like the regular trees that you chop. It can just be fruit trees and it should be fine. Then this one is pretty simple. It is the white butterfly. It can appear in all three areas of your farm. And as soon as you have some flowers somewhere, it will spawn around your flowers. Then we have the swallowtail, which is this yellow butterfly. And this one will only appear in area 3 of your farm, near flowers as well. But also if you have beehives and you have just flowers in your beehives, that's gonna work too. Then we have the morpho butterfly. And this one actually only spawns in summer and autumn. And similarly to the bluebird, they only appear in the area where the hydroculture plant is, or was if you moved it and they need flowers to spawn, so at first I couldn't get them to spawn, but the day after I made this little plot with some flowers, after one day, now every day I always have these three butterflies here, so make sure you just plant some flowers there and you should be fine. Alright, so now let's talk about some bugs that only appear in summer, so let's start with this rhinoceros beetle, it appears in the afternoon in area 2 and 3 of your farm, and it spawns on trees, so as you can see, even if it's a fruit tree, like a banana tree or any kind of tree, it works. Then we have the stag beetle, so quite similarly, this one spawns on tree in the afternoon. However, this one you'll only see in area 3 of your farm. And the last beetle is this one right here, the Hercules beetle will appear after 8pm in the area where the hydroculture plant is. And as you can see, it doesn't have to be a mirage tree on any kind of tree, this is a fruit tree and it's still going to spawn there. Next we're gonna talk about winter animals, and this one is a sneaky one, this little crab, it appears on your beach in area 2 pretty much all day, but usually it's gonna sneak in the water, so it's kind of hard to see, but <laughs> make sure you keep a look in the water and you should be able to find this crab. 
Alright, so next we have the white fox, and this one will appear in the same area as the orange fox, however, it will only be there in the afternoon. And also it has to be sunny, and you may note that in this game in winter it's snowing almost every day, so as soon as you have a sunny day, make sure to take some time in the afternoon to go near the shrine and you should be able to see this one. Then we have the white ermine, so this one will spawn in the same areas as the brown one, so near trees, as you can see it's exactly the same spot on my farm in area 3. However, it only appears from 2pm to 8pm, so it's only there 6 hours a day, so make sure you keep an eye on that. And lastly, we have the ptarmigan, which is this beautiful white bird. It appears in area 3, near flowers, so make sure you plant some flowers there, and you should see it pretty much every day, all day. So it's quite easy to get, just make sure you have flowers in area 3 of your farm. Alright, so there you have it. That's how you find all of the 21 wild animals in Star of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. I really, really hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments which animal you were struggling the most with. And if you have not started playing this game yet, I just want you to know that once you've placed an animal in the museum, you can no longer move them around. So if you don't want your museum to look as messy as mine, maybe just take a look at all of the animals and plan your museum a little bit before you place your first models. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. So if it was helpful, feel free to click like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out more Story of Seasons content like this. And thank you for watching. I'm gonna see you in the next video.